back from Rock and Load at the Hard Rock Hell Festival and I've got the pleasure of talking to Ricky Warwick and Matt Gemini Thwaite from Ricky Warwick and the Fighting Hearts. Thank you guys for yes, talking indeed. to Hello. us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank it's you. It's a pleasure. Um, so this is, is this the first day on your UK tour that's coming up there? It is, yeah, first one. Yeah. I, um, very excited. I was just saying to Mark earlier, we've been here since Monday. We both live in California. We got in sort of oh, in early Tuesday and we've been rehearsing not too far away from here in Colwyn Bay. So we're ready to play. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's Friday and we're like, all right, you know, when, bring on the gig, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Um, When excited. was the last time the Fighting Hearts played? When we were on the Stiff Little Fingers tour back in March. That long ago? Yeah, it? so yeah. it's been eight, eight or nine months since we've, yeah. we've played. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. cool. Um, you're on You're out on the road with Vice Squad. Yeah. Ah, yeah that's, uh, it's a great combination. Thank you. But it's an unusual combination Thank you. as well. well have, yeah. you know, have you known... Becky and yes, the for, yeah, I've known while. Becky and Paul for a long, long yeah. time, and I've been a, a Vice Squad fan since back since Last Rockers came out back in like yeah. '81 or '82, yeah. I think it was. Um, and then you know, got to know them over the years, um, and they're great, and they're great people. And you know, obviously, um, the Fighting Hearts has a little bit more of that kind of punk edge to it. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit more um, leaning towards that. And we just thought, wouldn't it be great to to have a band on the bill? That, you know. I've done stuff little fingers too as well, obviously. Yeah. That fitted in with that, and and Vice Squad were, were available and, and very up for doing it. And what an honour to have them on the tour with us. Yeah. You know. So like back to the old days, because Stiff Little Fingers one of your all-time favourite. Yeah, bands. I know. I do just, tour yeah, with them, yeah. and then the next tour you've I'm, got I'm Vice like, Squad. I'm a lucky <laughs> boy, you know. Yeah. It's like I get all my Christmases at once. It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Mac? Were you, were you an old punk fan? As yeah, well? yeah. I'd, I'd probably similar to Ricky. You know, g- grew up on. Yeah, got into music properly started picking up a guitar around 78 79 yeah. when punk was you know sort of really kicking in and on top of the pops and stuff so yeah, yeah it's um yeah my, my real musical influences if i go all the way back to when i first got a guitar was like punk rock yeah. and then new wave of british heavy metal you know yeah. i was listening to all that stuff you know first def leppard album i used to do wasted and all. one of yeah, the first yeah, riffs yeah. i learned you know all through the night right? so i've kind of gone yeah gone kind of gone yeah. full circle you know but uh, it's great with Defiant Hearts because it's definitely got a punk rock edge and a rock and roll edge. Yeah. And uh, we're a great, great band. Really work well together. It's fantastic. Cool. Um, the, the Fighting Hearts. Obviously, you've got Robbie Crane out of um, Black Star Riders. Um, what, 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 which drummer have you got? We have Ga- Gary Sullivan. Well, what, 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 uh, Gary Sullivan. Gary? Gary, I've known Gary for oh man, 20 years. Gary's from Dublin and. Uh, he was in the, a band I had called Sick, which I had together for quite a brief time after the Almighty yeah. split up. And we did one album. I've, I've known Guy for years. He's another transplant. He lives in Los Angeles as well. Yeah, we all live there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, you know, Gaz, Gaz and I go way back. He's a great drummer and a good friend. Um, and I think that's what what's nice about this is that more importantly, you get you get to all your buddies. Yeah. And you can hand pick. You know, you're, 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 like you know, Mark and I've been trying to work together for a while mm. and we keep How talking, long talking about oh, 20, 20 years something like that yeah, 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 15, nine, 15, yeah. 15, 20 years um, and uh, yeah so that's the beauty of it unfortunately we don't have we don't have Robbie with us on this run mm. um, Robbie was unable to come over and uh, meet some family stuff that he wanted to take care of so absolutely you know family comes first Yeah, but we love him he's, a, he's one of the Fighting Hearts family obviously he's the main dude on the base of Black Star Riders um, but we've got a great guy in, in Rich Vernon who is uh, is from North Wales and played with Mark in the Mission. Yeah. Rich has played with the Mission, Peter Parrott and mm. various other people. A great yeah. bass player, and he's just stepped in and, and joined the family. And, and uh, he's Welsh, so he, so he speaks the local lingo. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, we hit the ground running, and you know, it's it's sounding great. Cool. Can I just go on to you, Mark, for for a minute. You've just released your first. You've been around for a long time in the music industry. Yeah. You've just released your first solo album, having yes. with a lot of collaborations. One being Ricky. Yeah. Why did you take so long to release your <laughs> first solo album? Um, Can I just say it is an amazing album. As thank well. you. It is a brilliant album. Thank you. Yeah. I yeah. I don't know. I just had some downtime, and I, it never occurred to me re- to release a solo record because first and foremost, I'm not a singer. You know, I'm like I always refer to myself as the Jimmy Page of the operation. Yeah, yeah like I'm on guitar and I'm coming up with great riffs and that, but you know, you never hear Jimmy Page singing. So I would, ne- it wouldn't occur to me to release a solo album because I would think of like guys like Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, Ingve Malmsteen, and it's all real virtuoso yeah. playing. Yeah. That's what I think of a guitarist solo album. I didn't want to do that. Yeah. But then I did this thing called Primitive Race a few years ago, which was like a collaboration with a bunch of different singers, like Crabby from what yeah, yeah. Pop Elite itself and. 
uh, Tommy Victor from Prong, uh, Danzig and that. And it made me realize, I was, I was mixing some of it in my, in my home studio and they're sending their vocal files in and I realized, oh, I could just do an album like this where it's my music and I get all my mates to sing on it. Yeah. And it was going to be very cottage industry, I was just going to self-release it online. I had no like, grand intentions for it to be a big deal. And then um, did, yeah, I got v, my friend Vile Vallo to sing on an ABBA cover. Yeah. And then all of a sudden record labels got really interested. And then you know, we did a video. And the video's done over a million views yeah. in uh, six months. So yeah, so it, it got put out on a label and it got a big push. And I, I re it really, I really int originally intended it to be quite a small, just like a little whimsical thing. Oh, let me just put a record out with my name on it before I die. You know, yeah. that kind of a thing. Did you know? anybody say no to you? Did he, did you approach anybody and they said can't do it or? Um, there was everybody say there yeah. were some singer. There was one yeah, <laughs> one guy that said no straight away. That was Peter Murphy, who I, who I played right. guitar with yeah. for best part of a decade but at that point our relations had gotten somewhat strained so I guess that was fairly obvious yeah. I did ask Bear House and back touring again well, it just no it's just Peter he's on his own isn't it now he's on his own I did ask Gary Newman who wanted to do it because um, I toured with he him as well a few years well, ago yeah. but uh, I know what Gary's like he you know he he was about to start his, his next album and he, he probably didn't want to have to focus any energy uh, songwriting energy on another stuff and uh, also Ginger was going to sing on it Ginger Wildheart but yeah. um, he, his schedule just ended up getting in the way but it would have been nice to have had Gary yeah. and Ginger on for certain but obviously you're happy with everybody that's collaborating yeah no I've got all my mates on Ricky Miles Hunt Erica Knuckles uh, Saffron from Republica yeah uh, Roman Watts from Pig, you know, Vile Valo from him, uh, lots of you know, Andy Sex Gang, you know, all these yeah. people that I know, it was great. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, with the Fighting Hearts now, did obviously, did you get the band together after your last two solo albums? Well, yeah, I mean, it was no brainer, really, I just wanted, you know, Mark and Robbie and Gary played on the solo album. Yeah. And so it just seemed a natural thing to, you know, call those guys. Um, I didn't think. Robbie would do it just because I know he's got the BSR thing and he has kids and the commitment yep. and, and, and everything like that. So it was really lovely when he, when we did the first ever Stiff Little Fingers, he's like, ask me, I want to come and play, you know? Yeah. And I went, well, you know, it's back in a van and it's staying in, you know, yeah. blah, blah, blah. It's not like touring Black Star Riders, yeah. you know? And he's like, no, 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 no. So that was, that was, that was right. really sweet. Yeah. And I assume the guys, they just want to come out and play, you know? And, mm. and, and I'm really thankful for that, you know? Um, that they want to come and do that, so it, it was a no-brainer. I mean, they, the guys played on the record; they played great. Let's get them and let's get them to come out and play. You know? And when you're playing live, uh, is everything you play one of your so a solo? No, um, no, no, no. It's, it's a mixture. Play. We've we've got um, you know some Almighty in there. Really? Yeah, Excellent. quite a bit of Almighty in there. Um, uh, some solo stuff. Um, we do a Black Star Rider song. Clash song. We do a, a Clash, clash song, song in there. Right? Yeah, you know. So it's a, it's it's what we want to. Sort of, play ourselves obviously I'm very lucky I've got I've had a long career I've got put a lot of music so I've got yeah. a lot to choose from um, and it, it, the hardest thing is actually deciding what to leave out you know mm. it's really the so really the fighting hearts is like is it a labour of love for all of you then I not, think so. not just a Ricky Warwick so. solo you know, band it's, it's a labour of love yeah, for all yeah, it kind of feels more like a band yeah, yeah. 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 probably I mean, helps that we played on the record as well yeah, yeah. no it's very loose there's no like you know you need to do this no it's my band and no it's like yeah come on let's go have some fun yeah. let's turn the guitars up let's let's make a lot of noise and, and have a laugh for a few weeks you know yeah. and I think that's the whole the mandate really you know that if there is one yeah you know well you've both been in the industry a very long time I'm not saying that you're old you're both the same age as me <laughs> yeah. but you've been in the industry for a long time and you don't need to do this. You you, you both live right. in you both live yeah. in the states. You don't yeah. need to do this. Well, you do. Well, we do need December. to do it, or we wouldn't be here. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. There is a need to play. Yeah, that's what it is. And express yourself because that's what we dreamed of doing when we were kids. And to have that opportunity to do that for so many years and be able to keep doing it and keep being relevant and keep people interested and people that are interested and support you should never take that for granted mm. because it can end like that. Yeah. And you know. As soon as you turn around, it could all go away, and I'm very, very aware of that. And I'm very aware that you need to keep going, you need to keep moving forward, mm. and you need to keep putting out, writing, and pushing yourself. That's to me, that's what life should be. It should be about pushing yourself forward. For for me, doing this job, doing doing interviews, running yeah. a website, doing this job, it is great to see that guys like yourselves that were around when I was 
well, I say we're the same age. So yeah. when I was in my early twenties, you were up and coming. Yeah. And it's great to see that you can say that now that you you don't take it for granted. No. Um, Not like one day. You go out with Damon Johnson doing club gigs, doing yeah. acoustic yeah. Club, club gigs yeah. as well. Yeah. And it, because we again we love to play, you know. Um, um, that's that's why we do. We love to play. And yeah, listen. <laughs> we get paid very well to do the, the gigs with me and Damon yeah. Johnson. Of course, it's a, it's, it's a livelihood. But at the end of the day, you know, you're still leaving your family and your kids yeah, exactly, away yeah. from home. And, and but it's what makes us who we are. Yeah. And we're all with people that understand that. We've got great girlfriends and wives, and who, who give us the liberty to go and go and do that. And, and you know, again, it gives us a, a decent life. Yeah. So you know, you can't really. Again, it's not as well, but you just can't take it for granted. You got to work, you gotta work plan, hard. Sorry, interrupting. Have sorry. you got plans for the fighting hearts to do it? Absolutely, yeah, that? no. I mean, no, yeah. The... Yeah, totally, that's yeah. what's going to happen. Uh, you know, I'll we'll keep this going. Obviously, I have to work it around Blackstar Riders because yeah. that, that is the day job, as I like to call it. Um, and that's great, but there is certainly downtime when BSR, like there was this year, when BSR wasn't out, that we were able to to go out and do a couple of tours. You've got a lengthy tour coming up in March. And that again. Yeah, well, yeah. Nick, next year's pretty much a lot of Black Star Riders, but there will be... And a new album, yeah. Be a new album, obviously. There will be breaks where hopefully we can get out and do some shows. And Matt, what about you? What, what have you got planned around Fighting Hearts? Uh, yeah, just, yeah, we're talking about, you know, recording an album as to Fighting Hearts, um, you know, line up uh, next time. Yeah. And uh, in, in, in the States, I'm sure, because we all live there. Yeah. And um, hopefully some more shows next year. But, you know, I've heard the... I've heard the Black Star Riders album, and it's like I'm like I'm like yeah, you didn't have a choice. <laughs> you, need, you, need to, you need to go out and tour that album because it's fantastic. Oh, it's thank you. A really oh, good album, you. you know. Proud of the boys, they're doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Yeah. Each it's the third album, and I don't know how they do it, but it keeps getting, <coughs> keeps getting better yeah. every time. Thanks, mate. Don't that know how tricky third album is the best one. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> you know, yeah. sign of a good band. Apart, apart from Fighting Hearts, what have you got lined up? Uh, well, I've been talking to some promoters about maybe doing some uh, solo shows next year because of the album. Right. So I might, I might, I might do that. It's quite a commitment, you know. Um, so I'll see if I can get something like that together, you know. Uh, Ricky's going to be busy, but you know I, I might be able to yeah. talk a few singers into getting up, you know, and uh, yeah, so I might do some shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I'm going to write some more new stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, great. Well, we've got to wind it up. Okay, the, the rushing us no to get to the next gap. It's been a pleasure talking Thank you, to you guys. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. We're definitely going to come and see you. My interviews are finished when I've got one Brilliant. more to do, and they're going to come and see you. Sounds good. One of my bands of the weekend. So, All right. Thank awesome. you very much. Thanks, mate.